Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to another PMAT quick tutorial video. Today, we're going to be talking about how to import data from other generic formats. As usual, feel free to comment down below or to visit www.thebarkerlab.com to ask any questions that you might have, especially as they pertain to importing other bits of data. The link to our website, as well as a link to the GitHub where you can download PMAT for your own usage, are going to be in the description down below the video. One thing I will also say before we get started is that when you're getting set up to import other data, you can use this generic format for now if you're not using the Tucker Davis system. But what you should do is you should also come back and check the GitHub often for updates. We do have a plan to work with neurophotometrics, with the Amusa systems, uh, with the FIP systems, and we have data for many of these formats. So we're working on some loading engines to load in any different kinds of data that are possible. Uh, and so if you check back, then at some point you might find that your data format is the next on the list. OK, so in terms of importing data, this is fairly simple. We have one menu at the top here that says Import Data. And the Import CSV files is going to be the primary way that you're going to import any generic format. So before we hit this, let's take a look at what these formats should look like. In general, what you're going to be preparing are two files, one for your calcium or neurotransmitter signaling data, and the other for your behavioral data. The format for the files that have your calcium imaging data should look something like this. You need one column that can have a header that says timestamp, and it will have all of the different timestamps for each of your recorded samples. You should have a second column with signal, and a third column for the control. And if we were to just take a look at the signal channel alone for one second here, you'll see that what we're looking at is a photometry trace. We're going to bring in both channels so that we can work with both the signal and the control, but this should be your entire session, your entire recording. Now, you might start with this in a number of different formats, but the key here of using the CSV or the comma separated value format is that it's universal. So if you can take your data and you can bring it into Microsoft Excel and then hit file, save as, then you'll find that under the options is a comma delimited or a dot CSV format. So this is how you'll save your data. So if we wanted to change this particular one, to just say signal instead of calcium, we'll save that in exactly the same spot. For our behavior data, if we open up this file, then what you can see here is that we have a slightly different format, but still three columns. The first column is for events, and the second is for the onset time, the third for the offset time. In the current version of PMAT, we're not using the offset times at all, although we do have a plan to integrate these in some different projects down the road. So if you don't have an offset time for your events and you only have an onset time, feel free to just paste that onset time in twice just so you don't break the format uh, or to put in some other timestamp. Trust me, it won't make a difference at this point, but keeping the format is important. Under this event column, you'll notice that these are made up of text or strings. So these could say anything that you like. So for just one second here to show you that, I'll take the data and I'll sort it by these events. And for this event that says 16, then we'll write in tone so that when we go into the program here, you'll be able to see that whatever you put in is exactly what's going to be there. And again, we can hit File, Save As, and we want to make certain that we save this as this .csv, or Microsoft Excel calls this a comma delimited, but CSV stands for comma separated value. So that's the format you want, and hit Save. In this case, we'll replace this existing file and still call it behavioral data. Going back into PMAT, then this is incredibly simple. 
you hit import data and you're going to hit import CSV files, or we've also put a hotkey so you can hit control I. They'll both bring up the same menu. What you can see here, if we go to the desktop, is that if we open up the file called signal data, this will be the first one that you're gonna to wanna to import. So at the top here, you see this says open recording file. This is looking for your calcium imaging or neurotransmitter imaging data. So open up whichever file you have for that. And this is gonna ask you questions. If you haven't watched the other PMAT tutorial videos on just generic loading for the TDT format, uh, then you might wanna watch those as well. But we build in a buffer at the beginning and the end of the file. This is to account for sharp rises and falls in the LED as the system turns on and warms up. And by default, we suggest 2000 samples, which is for most systems about two seconds. Uh, but you may wanna modify this if you have a system that's recording uh, slower. So we'll hit OK, we'll cut off these samples. And then the second pop-up window is not a glitch. If you look at the top here, it says open event slash behavior file. So in this case, we're gonna go back to our file containing the behavior data and we'll hit open. What you can see here now is that shows the location of our data. In this case, we're going right off the desktop. You can see the event that says tone here. And if we were to go in and we were to plot that same signal channel that I showed you before in Microsoft Excel, then you can see we have the exact same data just as a proof of concept. So those are the steps that I would suggest going through in order to check that your data are working. And once you've done that, then you're ready to start using the rest of PMAT. And I highly suggest you check out any of the other videos, tutorials to give you some descriptions of each of the other modules uh, to get you going with those. Good luck.